Hello. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be looking at uh, how to replace the Android app icon or logo. In that case, you may say. So by default, uh, the app normally comes with a. Or when you've made a new app, normally has a logo, a default logo, an Android default logo that looks like this. Or most cases, it might look like this or normally these are the, are the logos that are come by default in our app but uh, you would like to probably put your own logo and you have it in your pictures probably download it into your computer and you're ready to replace all these default logos that come within the app with your own logo so number one we are going to uh, open our Android Studio. Now let's assume this is our app. You will have to go to Race here where you have your Race. Uh, right click on that Race. Then you will see a drop down or uh, a menu that will be hovered over. And on that menu, you will have to choose New. Just point at New. Uh, upon pointing, you will have another drop down. And in this drop down you have to head over to image asset so click on image asset or choose image asset so once you click on image asset you will have the configure image uh, asset uh, of course uh, option so this is why you have to change your logo and you realize that around here you have the other logo that I showed you this is actually featuring all over this place because it comes as by default as uh, the Android logo uh, but I had already changed so we're going to be changing whatever is here to what we have in our computer or to what we want it to be so head over to path where you see path around here and then click on uh, the directory here and uh, make sure to change the directory of the or choose the directory of the image of your image that you want to replace with the default logo so you head over to your computer and choose the logo now for example I'm, I'm gonna be choosing this logo to replace my logos and therefore let me head over and click open and you, now you can see that uh, the image that I've just chosen has replaced the old image that I had so this is how the logo is gonna be changed so over to resize and drag click and drag this to uh, reduce the size of the logo to make sure that it fits in these circles here it must fit in circles so adjust try to adjust and make sure that it fits in the circle where or it's visible in the circle uh, maybe just one in like that you can really adjust it even more to make sure that it's actually uh, more visible so now you realize that the background is uh, kind of different and we want we would want to have you know a background that really looks nice with our logo so head over to a background layout click on this background layout and choose color if it's not chosen you can choose color then click on the color and then you can now you can go ahead and choose which color you want for your logo I would like to go with this I think to work now press enter and the color will be chosen by default okay and now you can see that uh, we're heading over to probably let's first go back a little bit by click on previous we've replaced logo we've designed everything so you can click on next and see you can see that the logo has been replaced Make sure that on the rest directory here on top we have main being chosen. If it's not there by default, you have to click on the drop down and choose main. So now go ahead and click on finish. So the logo will be replaced automatically uh, under the layer, I mean, meet map, me map here. So you will have different logos under the launchers. But um, Sometimes when you uh, stop at this step and try to run the app, you might encounter some errors because uh, you still have some empty spaces 
I recommend you must be having kind of a, like four pictures here one two now you have two I recommend you to have around four that's when you can avoid the errors that come along with this process so here you have two but I'm gonna be I'm making sure that you have around four by doing it again so if you if I told you encounter any um, any 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 error in the process of uh, uh, changing the app logo you have to go ahead and repeat the process to make sure they have four pictures or four images here and by that you can be sure that you uh, you have to or you can check on android manifest and make sure you have no error here but let's go ahead and build or even run the app if it all runs we shall be uh, sure that uh, uh, we are good to go so let's run the app if you throw some alarms then you're gonna be uh, try out that method I told you re uh, pitching the method so it's really loading the app let's see if it can load it successfully okay now finally our app has loaded successfully meaning that it has no errors so now it will throw an error over uh, IC launcher foreground not found so to solve this error in the Android manifest you have to repeat the process that's the fastest way possible to solve this error you have to repeat the process so go back to race uh, right click on race uh, add new then go back to image asset and um, it's going to be opening some kind of uh, yeah image asset uh, this is why we can not press our image remember this is the image that we had chosen uh, so we don't have to choose it again probably you can do it again but you don't have to you just have to go ahead and click on probably if you want to change the background color you can go ahead and do it from here but uh, i think that's enough then uh, make sure you have ic launcher here and also launch icon attack adaptive and legacy click next again and now you can see that now we have a few errors here last time we had so many errors from top to bottom reds but now we have just a few reds and probably now it's going to be working so this is how to solve the error uh, that really occurs when you are replacing the android icon on every app so make sure you have main chosen in the rest directory and click on next so it loads it should be this error disappearing and indeed you can see now uh, the uh, red color indicating an error in the android manifest has completely disappeared so we can go ahead and run our app again and this time i'm very sure we're going to be having some success and finally uh, upload will be changed to our logo that we just uploaded still running or building Okay, now finally our web app has really published but now we're going to be checking in the app list to make sure that the uh, logo is actually the logo that we just uploaded so the app logo must be uh, the same as the app logo that we just uploaded this one here so we have to check in the app list here and see our logo whether it had taken effect Okay, so as you can see, uh, our app logo, uh, our app logo has successfully been uh, updated. So that's all we really wanted to see. As long as the logo was successfully updated, uh, that's important enough for us. So you can see the app logo is actually the same as uh, the logo that we have here. So successfully, it has been updated. And that's how you update or you change uh, the default logo that comes with Android apps at your own custom logo. So thanks for, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. You can like the video, subscribe to the channel, I'll probably support what you're doing and see you in the next video.